Chef Mommy in the house. Chef Mommy in the house. Chef Mommy in the house. She's the Chef Mommy. Chef Mommy in the house. Hey everybody, it's me, Heather Martin, Chef Mommy, and I'm very, very happy that you joined me today for another episode of Chef Mommy. Happy New Year to everybody. How's the new year going for you guys? It's going okay for me. Actually, not just okay, it's going fantastic. I am just happy to be alive. With each new day you take, I decided to take it one day at a time. Don't try and get ahead of myself. And so far, so good. All right, so today I want to show you something that I thought was uber, uber, super, super, duper, 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 uber, all of that. Very cute. And a fantastic snack that you can make for your children or your friends, kids, basically. We're gonna make donuts today. Or should I call them phonuts? Anyways, whatever um, you wanna call it, we're gonna make some donut snacks today that aren't really donuts. They are gonna be actually way healthier than a donut, but still fun and sweet to eat. So the first thing you need to do this treat is, I got myself the biggest apples that I could find at the grocery store. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna try and cut out some pieces of the apple. I'm gonna try and make them look like what a donut would. Cut them in round pieces like this. And then you can peel them before or after, but I prefer peeling them after. So then I'm just gonna just take the peeling off this one. And this apple is so big, I could probably get three or four slices out, but I want them to realistically look like a donut. So I'm probably gonna successfully get, maybe, I get, maybe I'll get three, let's see. Maybe I'll get four, four rings out. And they'll actually, three, because this one will be a really tiny ring once I take the bottom off, but I just, I hate to waste anything, especially a beautiful apple. So you're gonna take those off, and what you're gonna do is peel it, get the skin off of the apple, and then you're gonna core the apple. And I was, um, I don't have, a, I didn't have anything official <laughs> to do this with. I just used what I had on hand. So the same thing for you, you can improvise or if you're fancy and you have um, tools, you know, on hand. And then I'm just gonna try and like make my apple look like the shape of a donut. So I have this. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the middle out. Boom, shaka laka, shaka laka laka. And then you have an apple ring. And then uh, for me, for my kids, with food allergies, so mommies and daddies, if your kids have food allergies, they're gonna love the options. I have some options for you guys because if you don't have food allergies, you have way more options of things that you can use to make it look like a icing on the top. But this is gonna be so cute that you're gonna wanna pat yourself on the shoulder when you're done with this. <laughs> so cute. Such a great snack that they can have when they get home, and it's an apple. So you can't go wrong with apples, and apples are always so yummy. My friend always teases me. Um, I was doing a concert somewhere, and um, she came to my concert. She knows who she is, and she was complaining of being hungry, and right there on the spot while I was signing um, autographs and doing CDs, I said, you're hungry? I have an apple in my purse. <laughs> And she fell out laughing because she was like, you are such an apple girl. We hadn't seen each other in probably maybe five years or so, but it was so funny to me that she was like, Heather, you always have an apple in your purse. You always pull out an apple for people. It's true. I really, really love apples. My mom ate a whole bunch of apples while she was pregnant with me, so I blame it on her. <laughs> and now I have a couple of kids who are apple lovers. So I hope your kids love apples as much as mine do. So then you want to take them. And so the thing, the ideas that I had, if you want to do like a pink icing, I got some yogurt and um, we can do the silk yogurt. There's so many options for yogurts. If you cannot do dairy, um, 
and we don't do dairy. We do coconut yogurt or we do soy yogurt. I mean, there are so many yogurts for real. You can find something, hopefully, and make it work for you. So I took a little bit of yogurt and I put it in my bowl and I took one drop of food coloring. Now, you can use whatever you like for food coloring, even if you have some um, beets, Kinda, I kind of want to start keeping things on hand in my refrigerator because if you juice beets you can, and you want to use a natural color and you can just put a drop of beet juice in it and they'll never know, they'll never ever ever know that you use beets to color your yogurt and it makes a beautiful pink. Um, but I didn't do that today. <laughs> I just used a tiny drop and then I whipped it up. All right, and then of course I have some sprinkles because to make donuts look real, you gotta put some sprinkles on them. And then the other thing that I have, I have two other things. I have Biscoff, Lotus Biscoff cookie butter. And this stuff, if you have gluten allergies, you wanna stay away from this because it has wheat. But if uh, it's, it's been safe for my kids and they have allergies to dairy and soy, not to soy, to dairy and milk and peanuts and all kinds of nuts. And this has been good for them so far, and they really, really love uh, this as an occasional treat. Even on a sandwich, it's cookie butter. I mean, they think they're doing something different since we obviously can't have any nut butters or even seed butters in my family. And then the other third topping, so that's gonna be our caramel donut, and we have a strawberry donut, and we're gonna make a chocolate donut. So I use Enjoy Life, um, Enjoy, light chocolate chips and they are allergen friendly for you know a lot of people who have allergies cannot do chocolate because chocolate gets cross contaminated with tons of nuts and it has milk and all of that but this is just chocolate it doesn't have milk and all of that in it so what you're gonna do is let's do one with the chocolate and you can't see this but I'm just gonna dip the face of my apple <laughs> in the chocolate that I've got melty welting melted melted over here oh my god this looks so good like I want to eat it right now but I can't I have to wait till my kids get home <laughs> my mom always tells a story of how when we were little she would bake cakes for us and stuff while we were at school and then she would eat the entire cake and have to bake another one before we got home. I don't know how she stayed so skinny doing that. That is hilarious. I guess all the work. So then you have Booyah, a chocolate donut, and you want to put some sprinkles on it, and it looks pretty real. I think that is the cutest, most gorgeous, fun, healthy, mostly healthy because it's better than a donut, right? treat and trick that you can do with your kids and this is what I um, plan to give them for a snack when they come through the door raging and hungry this evening between now and dinner they will have some apples I'm gonna get a really cute plate look at these cute Valentine's plates these are by Pottery Barn, but you know that I am a cheapy weepy. <laughs> so I was at the thrift store a couple of uh, weeks ago and I saw those plates and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna get those plates. They were like five of them for a dollar. Picked them up and then I went back to um, Pottery Barn and noticed that they have the same exact plates out right now. So I would say that I'm winning. <laughs> This plate pays off sometimes. All right. So now, so now I want to do one. That was really easy to do the one that was dipped in chocolate. Um, I want to do one. This stuff you might want to sit it out and let it come to room temperature before you try and spread it on um, the apple because it's you know it's not as melty melty as the. Um, as the chocolate was. All right, so let it come to room temperature and then it'll, it might, you might want to dry your apple too off a little bit so that the, it'll stick to it better. And I'm sure there are other sweet stuff ideas, but I think the healthiest of all of these, uh oh, here's my dog. 
And guess who he's barking at? He's barking at the garbage people. Get him, Magic! Sick him! <laughs> and I'm gonna put some sprinkles on this one as well. And there you have it, your caramel one. But really, it's cookie dough. Do as well. So you may have to like spoon with the yogurt, just spoon it on there a little bit more so it can realistically look like a donut. That's how you do it. And that, my friend, is how you trick your kids into believing that they're eating some donuts and they're gonna laugh hysterically when they see it or they'll be mad at you. Because <laughs> you didn't actually make donuts. I only make donuts around here like once a year, seriously. It takes way too much time for me. So there it is, a really pretty donut. And you spent about, I don't know, how many minutes making these Wonderful donuts, there you have it. So anyway, that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Make some faux donuts, and if you do, tag me, comment below, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. This year, I wanna grow our channel, and I need your help. So if you can help me out by subscribing and talking about it, um, go to my Facebook page and my Instagram page. On Instagram, I'm The Chef Mommy, and follow me there. And on, Insta um, on Facebook, I'm Heather Martin, and I'm also The Chef Mommy. So I would really appreciate your follow, particularly on Instagram, because there is where I check the most. But subscribe and click the bell to get notified every time I have a new video out. This has been a fun and easy, quick episode of Chef Mommy. I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and remember all things are possible with God. Nothing is bigger than you. You can get through whatever mountain you're trying to climb. You can get to the top of it and have victory in Jesus' name. All right, so I'll see you the next time. And until then, I'm gonna be putting some more apples, doing some more apples for the kids to enjoy when they get home from school. <laughs>